A Baltimore City police officer is now facing decades behind bars after being convicted of assault in the shooting of an unarmed man. His fellow officers were the ones who turned him in. WJZ is live at City Police Headquarters. Megan McCorkle has reaction to today's ruling. Megan? Well, Denise, a jury acquitted Officer Wesley Cagle of the most serious charges against him, attempted murder, but he still faces significant time behind bars on those lesser charges. December 28th, 2014, police officers respond to a burglary at an East Baltimore corner store. When the suspect reached for his waistband, two officers opened fire. That suspect, Michael Johansson, spoke to WJZ. I told him I gave up and, you know, I'm unarmed, I have no weapons, I'm by myself. But once Johansson was already on the ground, a third officer, Wesley Cagle, fired again. He stepped right over top of me, you know, like I was nothing, you know. Fellow officers reported Cagle to Internal Affairs. Charges were filed this afternoon against Baltimore police officer Wesley Cagle. During a five-day trial, Cagle told the jury he thought he saw a silver object on Johansson and worried it was a weapon, but colleagues testified Johansson was no threat. All I had on me was a cell phone and a wallet. I mean, I didn't have no weapons or nothing. The jury found Cagle not guilty on two charges of attempted murder, but he was found guilty of first-degree assault and a firearms charge. Jumping into an SUV with no comment, Cagle was released on bond until his sentencing in November. In a statement, state's attorney Marilyn Mosby commended witnesses for testifying against what she calls Mr. Cagle's reckless behavior. City police are now taking steps to fire Cagle. Department officials saying this case is a reminder to our community that police officers in Baltimore are willing to step up when they see something they know is wrong. And Cagle faces a maximum of 25 years behind bars on the assault charge and another 20 years on the firearms charge. Five of those years are mandatory. Live at City Police Headquarters, Megan McCorkle, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, thank you very much, Megan. Officer Cagle is a 13-year veteran of the Baltimore City Police Department.